welcome back to Diablo's Laboratorium Emporium. My name is Diablo, and today, well, I want to start with a genuine apology. Yes, I have to apologize to everyone who watched last Tuesday live or last or the video afterwards on YouTube. I am so, so sorry. I did not, I repeat, I did not realize the sound quality was that terrible. It was way over the top, and um, I shall promise I will never touch my sound settings again. Probably. Um, it should be a lot better now. I did some testing. This should be all right. Everything should be, you know, not oversteering and uh, sound like I'm screaming into the uh, into the mic. Uh, so. Again, sorry for that. Now, let's get back to business. I was working on low-density structures. We we all have volume controls. Yes, but it, it was overpowering, oversteering the sound by a lot. Like, it was not... Even if you turned it down, it just didn't sound really good at all. Not, not even a, a little bit well. So, um, so... I, I thought I'd owe everyone an apology. Uh, it should be a lot better now, at least. All right, so we were doing uh, low-density structures, and we already had this this nice little setup right here, which um, actually I uh, I did some... Oh, I can take this away. I, can, uh, I, I did some, uh, obviously, some testing to see if this is actually uh, viable in the... Um, poop. <laughs> I always, there's always something. There's always something. Now, the sound was all right. Obviously, you can see anything, but hey, you have to take the good with the bad. So either you have good sound or you can see stuff. You have to choose. Anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> and thanks for the warning, Andrew. Um, so obviously, I started testing to see if I, uh, I you know, late at night. Uh, to see if this was viable uh, and how big this would go, w w this would be. Now I extended this quite a, 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 a bit out to see how far I could take it. Um, there are 16 in here now. I believe I did 14. I believe I did 14 in my um, in my testing, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, this one obviously not actually doing anything because it won't get the uh, the right amount of stuff. I should actually t check because I'm not entirely sure if I did 14 and just move these. I think I did actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think I did. Um, did I make a? Did I? Did I make a blueprint? No, I did not. Why? 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 Why, why would I even bother? Uh, actually, you know what? To save us all a lot of time, because we've already spent so much, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yes. Load. I'm just going to grab the blueprint real quick uh, so I don't have to build everything over and over again. Then, and then again, I can just, you know, uh, continue here as well. Because um, I think that's just easier and quicker. So... Um, obviously, ooh, let's go back to that first row that we built. Yeah, as you can see, it got, it got a little bit bigger. Now, the basic gist of the thing, this was the second row, by the way, it's the first row that we built. The basic gist of the thing um, is still the same. This is now, yeah, 14. 14 because 14 is... Everything keeps working. It's a nice divisible number that I can uh, uh, copy and 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 get even numbers out of it. Um, and as you can see, I moved the power substations so it looks nice as well. Now, obviously, as you might tell, it's gotten a little big. And this is where I ran into the first real problem, right? So we designed this thing, and then I thought, okay, how, how do I scale that to what I need? Because I've 
frankly, I need four, I think four belts of these, right? I believe four belts. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it's four. Uh, you know what? I can check that. Eh. Why not check it? Three, two, one. Show me the page. Why do you take so long? Thank you very much. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, sorry. It's six belts. It's six belts that we need. All right. So how do you scale that? How, how, where do you go? How, how big do you go? Well, apparently a lot, uh, very big. And, um, that also showed me a few issues that we, that I am going to run into. Uh, first things first, one of these rows produces 500, um, low density structures per minute. So two of these is 1000. So if I combine, um, two of those setups, I get uh, less than a full belt, 2,000. Uh, I could have done a fifth one to go to 25 and go to nearly a full belt, but obviously that's an odd number, which, as everyone knows, sucks to have to work with. So this is what I chose. And actually, this gave me the opportunity to go um, one here, one here, then combine that. Uh, am I saying this correctly? Or is it 500 per two? No, it's 500, or sorry, it's, I did this last time too. It's five, it's 250 per row, 500 for two. So this is a thousand and this is a thousand, which combined 2000. But that opportunity, that gave me the opportunity to go actually one, two, three, four exits on one side and four exits on the other side, meaning I can just have one eight belt balancer in here, kill that up to, back down to, I should say, six, which is the actual amount of belts that we are going to need. I think I might leave it eight, just that it depends on uh, what is easier to input on the uh, purple science, yellow, sorry, yellow science setup. I don't know that yet, so we'll have to wait and see. It might be easier to just use eight and just thin it out a bit, already spread it out a bit. I don't know, might not even do a belt balancer here if I do a belt balancer at the yellow sign setup. Anyway, um, and then I thought, okay, so how do I feed this thing? Well, let's go and look at steel. Okay, that's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six belts of steel going in to feed. So that's six per side, obviously. To feed, uh, let's do a quick check here, because I really don't know off the top of my head. 400 and round it up, 50, 450 uh, uh, labs, right? Um, so only six steel belts input not, uh, needed. That's not bad. That's not bad. Some of you have might already seen this, but plastic and copper were a little bit different. So... Uh, Plastics, um, I did, uh, so these are four 16 belt balancers. Yes, 64 belts of plastics going into half of this machine. Yes, it is really that stupid, um, but it's the only way to get to a decent number uh, of production that I actually need to hit in order to produce 8K of yellow science, which is the goal after all. Um, what was it? No, eight belts, eight belts, eight belts of, not 8K, eight, oh my God, it's so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I did uh, two less per, uh, per belt balancer and it wasn't enough. The production fell by a thousand or something like that, like a ridiculous number, and it fell below the amount needed. So 64 belts coming in is actually what I need per side. Copper, not as much, but still ridiculous amounts. Now, if we look at how many we, we are inputting here, 48, right? So we can't just have one smelter. We need two smelter areas because one smelter area is 48 belts. And this obviously takes 48 per side. So we need two smelters for this to complete smelters just for this setup alone. Now, two smelter setups is not that big of a deal, right? We can 
as you can see, I've already done that here. Um, I moved these one down. I don't know if I did this before or after. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this was my first attempt until I realized how much input space I needed. So this is where we built the first one. So two copper layouts here is not really a problem. The problem is this. If I actually take this blueprint and try to fit it in here, that's not going to work. The amount of mines and trains will be awesome. Indeed, that, as I like to say, is a problem for later. <laughs> Why worry about it now when you can worry about it later? As you can clearly see, even if I line it up with the output of this, uh, so the um, beacons are at the same level, that's not doable. Obviously, uh, uh, these inputs can be flipped to the other side, but the copper has to come from this side. But the machine is so, the factory is so damn massive. Um, and I would center it, of, of course, on, on, on that, uh, on the two things. Um, the, 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 fact, or the, the, the fact is that the factory is so massive, if I line this up like I did everything else, it wouldn't even fit. So I'd have to shift it forward to even get my 48 belts of stuff in. So that is an interesting challenge in and of itself. What do I do here? Obviously, I want to have everything lined up, but does that mean I'm going to move everything forward? That seems, well, I mean, it's doable. This is, I mean, this is not, there's no special, um, how do I put this? There's no special reason that this is at the distance that it is. Um, it's at this distance because that is that happens to be the max distance that I needed for uh, the Purple Science factory. And I just copy and paste it the distance for Yellow Science. So picking this up, moving it out uh, to where I can actually make everything line up is not a you know is not unthinkable right it's doable we don't have to adhere to this distance however it's also a f ton of work <laughs> um but it might be worth it if we can get this in a proper position however it also means that these copper mines need to move down and these steel mines need to move down uh if I'm going to even fit it next to this red uh, red chip factory. So it, 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 it'll have to be somewhere around here. So th this center of those two uh, things will have to be down here. Obviously, I will have to... Well, I won't have to, but... I would want to change the inputs. Because uh, now I've got steel on the most inner input, then copper... Then pla or sorry, then plastics and copper. Uh, obviously, the what I would like to do is have the output for the smelter go straight in uh, to the input for um, for this low density structure, right? Um, so I'd have to measure that out. It's not a big deal, but there is something to do there as well um, moving the four smelting areas down would be the quickest obviously obviously that's 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 the second part I was talking about these four will have to move down and these two will have to be shifted a little bit uh, compared to others I think I'm not entirely sure um, so that we can just shove them in directly the point is I don't well maybe I don't have to move everything I mean obviously I need to move these four smelters down but if I can input directly I can make this just touch Ooh, if I can make it touch okay that's what we're doing today wowzers that's what we're doing today that is what we're doing today I am 
going to continue working on this map. Why? Because this is just a continuation of the testing map anyway, so it's the same map. I'm going to zoom out, and we're going to do the following. We're going to kill this blueprint right here, because we don't actually need it, because we've got the completed one over there. Whooshy, whooshy, whoosh, whoosh. There we go. Let's uh, eat this. And you know what? Whilst we're eating this, let's put down this one over here. Let me help them out here real quick, because this is a lot faster. There's a lot of materials to get through, so... Uh, I'm stuffed. If they can build this first, that would be awesome. Let me just help them out here real quick. The rest they can do themselves. So I can dump this stuff and the robots can uh, continue clearing this out. That would be nice, wouldn't it? See, I need these other arms to be placed, guys. Come on. Do some damn work for a change. Alright. Uh, whoop, ba -doop. That goes a little bit faster, so that's good. Oh, the rest has been done. Nice. Oh, almost the rest has been done. So that goes a lot bit faster then. There we go. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of these guys. Don't want them anymore. Don't want them anymore. Don't want them anymore. Don't need you. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So that cleans it up a little bit, yeah? Let me just uh, get the rest of this stuff. bibbidi babbidi boop and the rest of this stuff. So we can also put it in the box. Now we have some room, we can move those smelters down. Uh, thank you. We can move those smelters down and then maybe we don't even need to move everything to the right if I can make it fit proper. Let's find out. First things first though, I need to dump this stuff. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Let's pick this up. Turn my robots off. Zoom out. And let's... Oh, I'm already zoomed out. Cool. Uh, let's make sure we erase the blueprint off of the minimap. So we can later on place... Yeah, there we go. Later on place the uh, thing correctly. Now, this is a generic smelting area. So I'm not too worried about this one. Um... Actually, what I'm going to do is this is my generic steel thingy, right? Let me check that out. I think so. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So I'm going to erase that. We'll we'll place those later. We'll replace whatever those later. Um, just erasing on the minimap. Wait, what's that purple thingy right here? Don't know, didn't see it, but we erased something. Cool. There we go. Let's zoom out again. Otherwise, you know, we're working in way too big a scale not to be zoomed out all the way. Okay. Uh, whoop. Let's just get rid of this. We don't need it. We don't want it. There we go. Yeah, I know. We need to erase that little bit at the back still. But you know what? There's lots more erasing to do, so uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Because I'm going to get there anyway soon. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to base my smelting areas that I have to place. The, the two steel ones and the, uh, um, and the two copper ones. I'm going to base that on where I'm going to place the low-density structures factory all right hey cpu is here just promise me that the day you turn on your construction bots you make it a premiere so that we know that it is time to see the show i, I won't make the promise but i'll definitely give that a try i don't i don't really know um i, I don't know if that's the thing i can do on twitch i can do it on uh youtube but Oh, you mean like the VOD? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, so, first things first. I need to figure out where this thing is going to go approximately. Obviously, these inputs need to change. Because they need to, you know... I need to do a lot of work on this still. But um, and I don't want to go 
too far away. I wish I could do like this. That would be nice, but probably can't. Um, actually, I might be able to. I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself oh yeah. I'm gonna make myself a. I'm glad you're here, by the way, CPU. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I'm going to make a row of ins or er, beacons that I can then aim my uh, positioning off of. So this one goes down. Here we go. I have no idea. This should be. Oops, this should be about enough. Let's go to the map. Let's go to our blueprint. This thing is so stupid. Let's go to our blueprint and um, I mean, we can go up and up and up until we can no longer go up, right? Is this smart? Is this stupid? I don't know. No, wait, I'm going from the other side, so I cannot do that. Uh, all the, the other two inputs are going to be flipped around to the outside of this build so i need to make sure i have enough room here to actually get those belts in right okay so i'm gonna i'm just gonna place this down conservatively let's say ooh, ah, come on yes let's say here something anything just this is the date when the bots turn on and the build uh, one million item uh, one billion wait that's that's a lot of zeros uh, that are ghosts. <laughs> if it's stupid and it works, it's, it isn't stupid. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> we'll see if it's not stupid. <laughs> I pride myself on stupidity. Come on. Haven't you seen what I'm trying to build here? <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Come on. Yes. Click it. Click it. Good. Now, let's see. Let's see how that fares. How much room we now have in between this one and that one. Am I okay with that? Let's have a look at... Let's zoom that a little bit out. Okay. What, what is it on this side? What is it on this side? It's Mr. Ash, good evening, good evening, good... Oh, this one's right really close. This one, I'm not even going to look. I am going to look, by the way. <laughs> How are you, Mr. Ash? Uh, is this the thrilling conclusion of the build? Nearly. I would say. I would say nearly. I would say nearly. One, one, two, three. So there's only four technically between this uh, belt balancer and the start of the next factory, which is absolutely stupid. Um, am I gonna do four as well? Oh boy. Four is very close. Place it from the rail station spacing. Well, if I zoom out, well, I have to do this then. If I keep rail spacing, blah, 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 blah. if I keep rail spacing station, station spacing, wow, that's difficult to say. Um, it's going to be over here and it's not going to fit. Uh, so these stations have to be further away from the other stations than any other station that I have just to be able to make it fit. Uh, but I guess I could make this closer. I mean, it doesn't really matter how much... Oops, not mine. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll make it the same as this one. Uh, can I do that? Yes, I can because four away so it's not overlapping so we can actually go from the outside okay let's do that let's control z this thing if it ever wants to do that i didn't place anything else did i yes i did shoot 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 shooty shoot um i'll have to have a look at that because i don't want to overshoot my z's that one that one that one take it away again there and now if i do the next one we should be able to see this one disappear. Nice. That means we can actually determine where this is going to go by going one, two, three, four, four, and this one should be it. Oh God. Um, I need to zoom out because this is undoable. All right. 
So now I need, now I got two points to aim for, right? I got this outside line. I need to do this on the map because this is uh, not doable. I got this outside line and I got this inside line. Oh, that does not line up. It's either going to be five. Well, it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. It can line up. It can line up. Oh, come on. Sorry. Sorry. It's, it's, it's doing things that I don't want it to do. One up. Just one up, please. Come on. Click it. Click it. Got it. Got it. So that's what we're going to aim for. There. Where's the exit that was supposed to be here? You know what? Don't care. Something, 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 something. This is what we aim for. Oops. There we go. And that just lines up like this. Don't move a muscle. What movie is that from? That's some precision blueprinting, yeah. Indeed. Thank you. Um, so, let me see. Did I do this correctly? So this obviously is now... Whoa. Oh, obviously this is overlapping because I uh, put that one down. Problem solved. Anyway, uh, one... One, two, three, four. Yes. Yeah, so this is now the same exact distance away from this one that that one is. So we're exactly on that. Um, now, the most important bit. Can Oh, yeah. Look at that. We've got space to work with. It's not a lot, but we've got space to work with. Dang, son. That's cool. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Blah. Okay. So, obviously, this does not work. This business. This business. Um, I want... Do I have this on this side as well? Shoop, shoop, shoop. I do. Um, do I still have that perhaps somewhere in my blueprint arsenal? No, I probably did way too much trying to build the uh, the actual blueprint that I just showed you. What the hell is this? Uh, oh, that's the undergrounds. Yes, yes, yes. Um, one thing I'd like to see in the next tutorial is a blueprint build mode. No requirement for an item in your inventory. No holding down shift. Build anything and everything as it goes permanently. Um do that via the tool belt there's not yes that's true unless you don't actually first have that option uh no no i think you're right i think you're right let me no let go oh bugger i didn't mean to do that go away let me see oh i have to wait for the save so if i uh, which one do I do? That one. Can I then... Uh, yep, yep, that's already a thing. That's already a thing, so... Not a problem. That's already a thing. Um, you cannot ghost build something you don't have in your infantry. Yes, you can. I just did. Look, you can click it. Uh, for instance, what do I... What, what, I definitely don't have a burning mining drill. And then you can click it on your tool belt. I'm not holding down any buttons. Here, here's my other hand scratching the mic and uh oh, i need to be oh i need to, I, why did i pick a miner that's the stupidest thing ever because i haven't got any to mine stuff here sorry about that um <laughs> what i meant to do was let's say burning mining drill because that's obviously also not in my inventory there you go works like a charm works like a charm Let's get this stuff out of here because I don't want it. And I need to think about the following. First things first. I need to I need to first things first. I need to clean this up. 
uh, this does not matter. Anything here matters. Then I need to replace. Then I need to... Uh, where am I going? <gasps> no, did I accidentally overlap? Wait. No, 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 no. This is still smelting area. Oh, crap. Sorry. I scared myself there for a second. So anything like this needs to go. This is the smelting area that we... Let me zoom out. Um, let's delete that. CPU has gifted it with your one sub to Ash. That's so nice. That is so nice, man. Thank you. All right. That is so nice. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. This is obviously in the wrong spot, so we're going to delete this anyway. Now I do need to... Well, I can I can steal that from somewhere else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this thing again. Um, well, I wish I had erased a little bit more, but it's okay. We still have this corner here. Um... Learn something new almost every time I play. I, after almost six years, I still find out new things to, that that I really did not know were there. Uh, I think this is fantastic. I think I think this is fantastic. I do I really do? All right, here we have it. We replace this, except now everything should be bibbity bubbity. Why is it not turning blue though? Oh, because it's not really there. It's a ghost. Yes, never mind. So we place it down. I hope I did that correctly. Let's find out. Yes, yes. We could. No, wait. Whoa. Oh, boob. Sorry, I know what I did wrong. I need to place it down in the real world, not on the map. Because I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Yes, no. Yes. Click it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so. Um, what? I'm missing a lot. For instance, did you know that there's a Key mouse combination, which lets you use an upgrade planner in reverse. Yes, I did. I since like two weeks ago, or I, I, I found out. Um, which is, it's like I think it's like shift or something. I, I even used it on building this blueprint. It's it's very nice, very nice indeed. Um, right. I was doing something. I know that for a fact. Got distracted there for a second. Oh, right, 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 right. So we now have a complete blueprint, right? Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that we erase uh, the uh, non-existent stuff out of the map, on the mini-map and off the map itself, by the way. Uh, and I keep doing that because it's otherwise way too confusing to see what is where. Um, so I know it's a little bit of a hassle. I, I really wish there was a button refresh map or something of that nature but since there isn't uh, and it takes way too long to do by radar which is technically possible but I don't want to wait for that what is over here oh did I I think I did <laughs> this is my building junk okay uh, we don't need that Sorry about that. This was part of the testing environment. Actually, these ones can stay, by the way. Uh, we'll find out. Because I'm gonna, gonna change these around. Gonna change these around. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is now all... Dang, I, had, I thought I had them all. But uh, here we go. This is now all in the right spots on the map. So we can actually see what the hell is going on. Do that little pip right there. What is this thing? Oh, we need that to cross over. Yes. Perfect. Now, obviously, steel is going to come from the top, and plastics are going to come from the top. There's a special thing about plastics, by the way, which I haven't gotten to yet, but we'll get to that in, uh, in due time. In due time. For now...
one of these big setups needs to go on the inside so we can make the copper input go straight into here then we need something else and then we need something else again well that's a good sentence isn't it so i did this because steel doesn't need that much room and then it's just small big big right it looks nice but now we're gonna have to i think we're gonna have to go big big small because i think that is just better strictly speaking unfortunately that means this entire input system is not going to work um well that's not true if i keep these the same distance and just remove this out oh this is no 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 this is going to be perfect this is going to work out just fine i figured it out never mind la -dee -dee, la -dee -da. here we go we cut nope we cut. do i have them now yes we cut from here and cut to here is that correct yes i think that's correct <gasps> but then i'm also cutting my never mind I, i'm not going to worry about the uh, robo ports right now we cut this here yes so we have that blueprinted never mind we zoom out a little bit we cut this think so and we make our way down we zoom in as far as we can where we can still place stuff and then we do whoops and then we do this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that works that works deliciously <laughs> of course oh uh, shoot oh bugger of course they have to uh no this one comes from the inside the other one comes from the outside so i have to flip the outside no that's fine that's fine that's fine as long as this one fits here we can click this i will have to redo those uh robot ports because they look really really bad right now but that's okay there's a little bit of effort doing this obviously um but once i have one side completely set up i can just copy it to the other side and not have to worry about it so that's good and oh no it's terrible life is horrible dang i thought i i thought i had it mm, i thought i had an easy an easy going of it right now but i don't because uh i forgot that the steel goes on the outside which means these bridges that i've built um are going to have to get bigger because there's steel lines coming in um, I mean, it's not as bad as having to rebuild everything, obviously, but it's still going to take a significant chunk of work. Um, yeah. Because I have 16 of these uh, uh, lanes, um, and I input two per lane um, of, of, of factory uh, thingies, uh, I need... No, I have 32 per side, so I need 64 inputs, right? So that's why this is taking a little bit of, a, of an effort. Just a little bit of an effort. Whoops. Sorry about that. Are we there? Oh, we are there yet. Nice. All right. So the only difficulty we, we, we really are going to have right now is if we cut this one to the other side, we just have to figure out how to make a bridge through here with our steel yeah i don't think this is too bad i don't think that this is too bad let's not cut those undergrounds please thank you right let's flip it over best bless ble, bless it whatever best mod ever yeah that's good now we should in theory be able to just fit this in here one two like so obviously there's no bridges here but we should still be oh we placed it wrong one two three four away good oh, I, I 
uh, you know, actually, no, this is okay. This is not, 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 this is solvable, right? We pick this up. We go, well, it used to be there, and now it's there, and now it should line up with that one. All we do now is, that's not shift, that is shift. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah. That's an easy fix, right? That's an easy fix. Not even going to worry about it. Okay. So now they're lined up perfectly. Excellent. Excellent. Never mind. Wrong season. Uh, but I do want to change these out. Oh, crap. So, uh, that is interesting. How much is this? Yeah. I can't do what I wanted to do. Well, yes, I can. Yes, I can, because we did not need the 60 inputs. Now, that does mean we need the belt balancers, though. So we're fucked. Sorry. I was hoping to input directly into this thing. And because we had like four spaces in between the smelter and this area, I thought that's going to be fine. The problem, however, is we need the belt balancers to go from the 48 inputs that we had to the 64 inputs that we need. Um, and I have no idea how to fix that. I don't think we can even fix that. Honestly, I don't think we can fix that. That's not a fixable thing as far as I know. I mean, this one would just go down here and should line up, yeah, perfectly with that one. Obviously, this would be an underground ending, right, like this. Uh, so it's not that's not a big deal. The big deal is that if we if we place down a smelting area, it's gonna overlap with these uh, belt balancers, which sucks donkey balls. Uh, cause the smelting area ends right here. So that would cut right through, yeah, like the top of the, so all of this would not be able to be placed. Plus it's, you know, wider than 60 or blah, 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 blah. let me try that again. It's wider than 48, which means I can't even fit it in between, right? Could I make my smelting area bigger to compensate for that? I could. I could. I could. Hmm. Interesting notion. Interesting notion. Because okay, let me let me put you in my headspace for a moment. The problem is obviously I need these belt balancers in order to get this from 48 to 64 to feed everything properly. Now we can't do that because the smelting area would overlap those. So the only way to, the only solution would be to move everything, and I mean everything, up to the right, like whatever this many spaces is, to make that fit. Now that's gonna suck because that's a butt ton of work. Um, so in order to not have to do that, maybe what I can do is change the shape of my smelting area to fit over this thing. I can't do that, can I? Because the last output is here, which is halfway on the belt balancer. Now I could make that go back and in but that that's really gonna look jank shit i mean shoot darn it <laughs> other pc words um oh my god in lieber himmel well that's a challenge because, I mean, I could easily make this wider, right? I mean, that's that's not the problem. I can move these smelters out, make this uh, belt a little bit longer and just move it out as well. Uh, we've got plenty of room because we 
are further down, so we've got more room in between. Um, if it's plenty of room, that might be might be an overstatement, but we've got I think we've got the room to do that. Um, but we'd still have this output hit this uh, thing right smack in the middle of the balancer. And again, I could go down back and in. I would have to do that for one, two, maybe three lines, and that just does not look good. Now, one of the benefits, I would say, is that, or one of the uh, lucky coincidences, whatever, is whilst we were building this, we got the ability to, or maybe just before, I'm not entirely sure, to build or place stuff on the map. So just making a giant cut right here along this line, right? If I'm aiming this proper, uh, should be doable. If I make a cut right down this line, um, I could just move everything to the right, place it on the map, place it once for real, and we've moved everything, right? Dang it. I was really hoping this was going to fit. Because this is going to be a interesting build. Interesting move. But I don't think I have a choice, if I'm honest. I don't think I have a choice. Um, again, I can make this wider. I'm just talking now to get my own thoughts sorted, yeah? So I can make this wider, but the inputs would be ugly. Would that be ugly? Would that be ugly? Let's find out if, it's, if, if it would be ugly. Let's not dismiss something out of hand because we don't know it yet. Um, Shoot, I don't know where it's going to go, so I need to have this be in line, and then go... Oh, 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 stop moving! There. I know it's real once, but I... Trying to figure out how to do this, right? How to do this right. Um, so technically, I would want it to be something about here. I'm not entirely sure, but it would end up something like this. Now I would like to have it, yeah, it's three, see? One, one, two, three. Yeah. So what if I do this? First off, okay, so it fits easily, right? That's not an issue, that's not an issue. This would look something like this. Let me um, do that. Okay, so we go the whoopsie doopsie. Sorry about that. Uh, this one would go here, and this one would go here. Now, this obviously would instantly turn into here. This one would turn into here, and I see that it's time already. Why are these days so short? The rest, obviously, would come like normal, like this. Oops. Um, something, something, something. Copy. Paste. Paste. Copy. Paste. Paste. Oops. Just trying to make a, a quick look at how, at how this would actually look if you don't mind uh, this one's too many all right this one will go here yeah that seems to be all right something like this OK, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll race, I'll race, I'll race. Let's see. Something like this, yeah? I mean... Oh, right. We can't even do that, by the way. Because we don't want to... This is 1, 2, 3, 4. And 48 need to be 24, 12 per thingy input. So the first 12 need to be in the center of this. Well, that's just a question of moving to moving them to the right spot. I don't think we're... Because the CPU says, because I'm slow and dumb and a noob. Diablo, did you level up in Twitch so that you have icons and subscriptions? Or are these available to all? Uh, no, I, 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 I leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, you have to. It's not, you know, I'm a affiliate now, I think. Yeah. So you need to uh, stream for a certain amount of hours. You need to have uh, 50 followers. And you need something else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and you need something else. There's like three things you need to, to get uh, in order to, 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 to be eligible for affiliate status. And I didn't even ask for it. They just said, here you go. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Usually deserve thank you, sir. Thank you very much. That is very nice of you to say. Okay. Um, so the inputs, like I said, um, that is a mat. Uh, that's a question of just making that fit, right? Um, I would even go as far as to say, uh, for instance, uh, nope, not that one. This one, I would want to have. I've got them all right. Yeah, I've got them all right now. I would even go as far as to say... Um, I would want this in the middle. Like so. And then from this point on, have them branch out to the correct setup. So there's 12 per, that's 16. So that's four less, it's two less. I would skip the first one as I've always done because it you know going across like this just looks terrible so we do this we do this let's try that again we do this we do this and we go one two this yeah we skip four so this is the first one second one third one and like i said we need uh, 12 per so this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then two to the end. That's good. So you would go here. No, no, that's the whole point. We're centralizing. So you would go. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how to calculate this. Do I? Do I? Now, the question is, I could do this centered upon or starting here and just have a gap of two in the middle. I don't like that. So, no, that's not what we're going to do. Sorry about that. We're not doing that for sure. This one would go here. This one would go. This is going to be a weird, 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 weird corner. Uh, something like this. I want to try it out. I want to build this. I know I'm go going over time a little. Sorry about that. But I want to build this just to be able to do, to see what it's like, right? To see what we would end up with if we do this and if we don't actually move this stuff. Um, yeah. Hold on. My brain just stopped working for half a second there. Um... So we do this, we do, no, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, yes, this is correct, this is correct. 
Okay, so we copy this, we go into there. Now we should be two from the end. Yes, we are. Uh, which means there's a gap of four here, but that means that this corner needs to go further inland. This is going to suck. Let me kill. Well, let me wait for the save. Let me get this corner out. But now we go one, two, three, four. And then you obviously go down here, except for you. Is this, does this look, I don't think it does. Let's just kill this because it's harder to do with what we've got. Okay, and then this one goes down, up, and out? That seems weird. That seems weird, doesn't it? Let's just find out if that is weird. <clears throat> Let's just find out. So this one would go there. This one obviously just goes there, and this one just obviously doesn't go out first. It just goes like this. That looks, that looks disgusting. That looks absolutely disgusting. We're not doing that. We're definitely not doing that. What we are going to do, however, is the following. It will look a lot, we don't need that. It will look a lot more organized. and pretty. And I like organized and I like pretty. Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? Uh, there we go. This one we pick up. We pick up. Oh, shoot. How am I going to aim this? <laughs> uh, something, something, something. That was too high. That was too high. I, I, I knew that when I placed it. Sorry. Um, not there, there, and then, actually that is one too high still, now it's good. What happened? What ha oh, I meant the edge of the screen. There we go. Okay, so we do this. I think this looks a lot nicer. Then we do this. Wait, did I do that? Yes. No, yes. I need to zoom out, I need to zoom out. Dang it, dang it, dang it, from here. Okay, fine. And then we do... Ah, shush. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oops, wrong bells. <coughs> so this one. And then the last two, we can just go up. Okay. That's so much better. That's so much better. Yeah, we get gaps. But we're gonna... Mm. What do you all think? Do we move everything to the right so it at least lines up? You know, that we can get this edge lined up here so we have that mm, perfect placement. 
All we do is say, fuck it. This is good enough. I know the other one is a lot more work, but in the end, in the end, I think, I think it might be worth it. I think it might be worth it. Still, still, this looks a bit, it's not, you know. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. I think I want to move everything to the side. I think I want to move everything to the side so we can have this row of belt balancers neatly on the outside of this beacon row and neatly on the outside of this beacon row in between these two areas. And that's going to be our mandatory distance. And then we can have nice lines going out. We're going to have this gap anyway. And I don't mind that, right? I don't mind that. Um, because that serves a purpose. That serves a purpose. Uh, however, if we move out, we might want to change that. I'm not, yeah, because we can then maybe do it prettier with a centralized and a octopus style entry point. Obviously not octo, but I don't know the uh, Greek or Roman word for 48. Um, but that means I will have to move it further to the right. Because if we ignore, I wonder how much room that takes. How much time have I spent? Oh, sorry about that. Um, real quick, just real, real quick. If we ignore the fact that we have it built in here and we say we need 12 per 48 so i have no idea this is 24 belts uh, this is 12 belts sorry 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 12 belts we've got our center is here one two three four five six i can't count one two three four five six yes so this is the center that's 12, 24, 36, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we do this, Is that correct? That's not correct. This is not the outer one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that incorrect? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So this is our first one. So outside of this one, this is okay. Okay. And then we get one, two, three. And then we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I just count ten? 10 11, 12, one, two, three, four, one. Two. You know what? Why am I counting? I don't like counting. Uh, from this point and from this point. Okay, that makes sense. That means that. This one would go all the way in here, like so. I think I like this better already. I truly do. I think I like this better already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to cut this way, 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 way shorter. Whoosh. Try the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's twelve. Oh wait, I already had that. Yeah, there we go. Wait, shoot. I meant to do this. Did I overshoot? I did overshoot, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Yeah, I did overshoot. So this one does not count here. It actually counts here somewhere. Cool. Something like this. Two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Oh, this is going to be so much better. This is going to be so much better. But it also takes a lot of goddamn room, doesn't it? Let's flip this over. This should just line up perfectly right here. Oh, poopy. Uh, whoop. Flip it over. And just one. One I can deal with. I mean, the shortest I can make this, obviously no, not shorter on this side, but this is the shortest I can make it. So that would be the distance between this edge and this edge. And that would be a perfect intake for this. You know what, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna, I, I am definitely doing this. So everything's gonna move to the right, but I'll make you this promise. I'll do that offline. I won't make you watch that. I'll do it offline, make it all fit, and then when, once we get back on Sunday for the two hour live stream, uh, extravaganza, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> um, I have to give it a name, right? Um, this will already be, this will already have moved to the right and uh, this will just fit. We'll make, we'll make, we'll finish putting this down, uh, obviously, but uh, I'll, I'll have everything already at the right position to the right. Because this just looks a million times better than having it like this. And then we can have a normal smelter, like every other smelter, just feed into this, start, ooh, yeah. just feed into this, like, I, I, it looked like I'm the nose of a little man. That's funny. Um, <laughs> if you tilt your head to the right, at least. Um, yeah, 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 that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, and that's where I'm going to end it today, because I've gone way longer than three quarters of an hour. I don't think I've actually, actually once had an episode go for three quarters of an hour. It, I know it's my 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 goal, my my the point I aim for, um, but I don't think I've ever ever reached it. <laughs> anyway, you know that's the way it goes. Um, so there's only one thing left to do today. Could do with a multiplayer Sunday to start sorting out the real map. Uh, Andrew, is that? Bad? Um, The problem with that is I wouldn't actually know what to do. My well, obviously I could do the same as you guys and uh, start spreading the news, so to speak. Because there's lots that we need to do before we actually start building. Right? We need to start building a billion mines everywhere and utilizing those mines to get the materials that we need to build everything that we need to build. Um, Oh, right, there was one thing I forgot to say. As I said, in the, as I alluded to at the beginning of the stream, is um, there was something wrong with plastic. And you know what? Well, let me cut cut to the chase. I don't, I'm not a building enough. <laughs> I'm not creating enough plastics. Um, I found that out the hard way by counting what I needed and what I was actually producing. And I was going, wait, how did that happen? Didn't I have my calculator out? 
uh, clearing out biters and stuff. Yeah, 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 in the wall. All that stuff can be done. I'll think about that. Um, I'll think about that, Andrew. I'm not going to promise that right now. Um, I might just do that the week after because I'm. I think I might get close. I might then be done with this yellow science build. Um, oops, and therefore we can, you know, go go at it proper. Go at it good and well. You know. Uh, I did it again. I'm not building enough plastics. I don't know how that happened. I really do not know how that happened. I know that I need to produce a certain amount. Uh, and I know that I'm not doing that. Um, I don't play the game, so it doesn't worry me. All right. Well, good enough. Good enough. Because um, I had the calculator out. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. So I need to have a singular one of these added. Because I'm, I'm 10 belts short, basically. 10 full, fully compressed belts short of what I need. So what I was thinking is if I make a, uh, a tiny one of these uh, that doesn't necessarily spit out 32 belts, but maybe half, 16 belts, um, that can join here. But the problem is I also need the coal. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Maybe I'd do an extra one in here and get some coal from up and down. Something, something, something. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. We'll figure it out and then I'll get back to you. But first, I will say thank you to my patrons for sponsoring this channel. It helps and motivates. Thank you very much. And to anyone else, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. My name is Diablo and I will see you next time.